Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bones. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. My fellow YouTubians, this is another message from your absolute dictator Frankenstein. First, I want to sincerely apologize to all of you. In my last video I declared that the mission to eradicate spam and hate here on YouTube had been accomplished and that all that remained were isolated mop-up operations to finish off our enemies. Obviously I was premature in making that declaration, and I hope you'll forgive me for that. We shall redouble our efforts. The army of Frankenstein will win this fight on your behalf. We will bring freedom to YouTube. I will keep every promise I made to you. Please, don't fall prey to the lies of the enemy. Come on. Now, the activities of certain spammer insurgent groups, and the successes they have enjoyed recently, led me to sit down with my staff and rethink our strategy for winning the war on spam and hate. That remains my number one priority, our inevitable victory. But one question I get asked from time to time is, Mr. Frankenstein, what's our exit strategy? How are we going to withdraw our forces from this war? That's a question with a level of validity, and I'll address it in a moment. Before I do, I would like to point out that in the face of adversity, constructive action, even in the absence of a total solution, is still better than ignoring the problem. For example, if you were inside a burning building and you didn't know where the exit was, you'd be better served by moving away from the fire than by standing still and being burnt alive. I think the real reason people ask me about an exit strategy is because they fear I'm trying to build an empire to seize permanent control of Utubia. Well, I'm not. So I decided to work with my staff to develop a practical way to demonstrate that to you, which also happens to involve a very specific exit strategy. When we considered this problem, we agreed unanimously that we needed allies in this fight, and we saw clearly who those allies should be. Cooperation with the so-called highly trained monkeys is critical to conceiving a successful exit strategy and still defeating spam and hate here in Utubia. Therefore, I'm increasing the number of soldiers deployed to this fight and redirecting a considerable number of them to serve as military advisors to these monkeys. You see, despite their name, the monkeys aren't really highly trained at all. The stark reality is that they're rather poorly trained monkeys, but they will become highly trained. My forces will make sure of that. This new direction is a strategic shift, and we call it primatization. It consists of shifting the bulk of the fighting to the monkeys, or the primates, to be technically correct, since if you look closely, they're chimps. Ultimately, we look forward to a day when the highly trained monkeys will themselves be able to assume responsibility for security here in Utubia. It is part of their charter, after all. The highly trained monkeys are routinely dispatched to deal with the situations as they arise, but tragically, the poor little monkeys have not always been up to the challenge because their training has thus far been woefully inadequate. We will rectify this oversight and give the highly trained monkeys the tools they need to restore order for all of Utubia. I certainly won't be able to withdraw my forces tomorrow, maybe not a month from now, perhaps not even a year from now, who can predict these things? But as the highly trained monkeys stand up, the soldiers in the army of Frankenstein will stand down. In this manner, you continue to Security will be assured and everyone will win, except for those who spread lies, spam, and hate. Those cowards will never win. And now, there should be no doubt at all in the minds of these evil spammers that yes indeed, I do understand about the use of proxies. Thank you for listening, and goodbye for now. If you see me coming better, step aside. A lot of men didn't, a lot of men died. One fist of iron, the other of steel. If the right one don't get you, then the left one will.